Happy Victory Tuesday, Ravens fans. The win column is back again as the Ravens win another one. Now they're up to 12 and 3 on the season. Get in that chat. Spam W in the comment section. We'll get the Victory Tuesday celebration rolling here on Ravens Rundown. On today's show, we are examining the updated playoff picture for your Baltimore Ravens. We already know that they're in the tournament, but what does their seeding look like? What do they need to do to get that number one seed with two weeks remaining? That's where I come in. Let's start with the playoff picture in the American Football Conference. The Ravens, the number one spot right now at 12-3, and three, about to take on the Dolphins, who are 11-4. and four. The Chiefs at 9-6, and six, they are out of contention to be the one seed, as is the Jags at 8-7. and seven. It's down to three teams at this point who are – Math, math, mathematically eligible to be that one seed. Cleveland is the other at 10 and 5 right now. Uh, the Bills still in contention at 9 and 6. The Colts hanging around at 8 and 7 in the final spot. And uh, you can see Houston, Pittsburgh, and Cincy also 8 and 7. Las Vegas and Denver still infamously in the hunt, as uh, the kids say. The clinching scenarios for your Baltimore Ravens. Let's start with the AFC North title. What would it take? A win or tie against the Miami Dolphins, and you take care of business. You don't have to worry about anybody else. Win or tie this week, you're in good shape. Another situation is that you could win with the Cleveland Browns losing or tying against the New York Jets. And then when it comes to home field advantage, a win against the Miami Dolphins this week, and you take care of it. So, in a nutshell, if you win this week against Miami, you have everything wrapped up. Uh, it turns into a nice late Christmas present of some sort. You win this week, you lock up home field, and you lock up the AFC North. And then you could potentially, if you want to, I'm not saying you have to do this, you could have two weeks off at that point for your starters. You could rest them against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Then you'd have the bye week. And then, after that, you'd end up having your first-round playoff game in the divisional round. Now, I know that there's been some of you out there that have been against that idea, saying that, hey, it didn't work out last time and all that. But if the Ravens decide they want to go that route, at least they would have the flexibility to do so. Now, let's go to the New York Times playoff predictor. Not the propaganda for the New York Times. This is the actual real news that they report every once in a blue moon. Uh, a bye week, the chances of that happening for the Ravens right now, pretty good. Number one overall seed, about a 75% chance at this point. Now, what about if, let's say, you lose to the Dolphins but beat the Pittsburgh Steelers? And if you lose to the Dolphins, you're obviously still going to play the starters in Week 18 then. About a 43% chance of it happening. So, and remember, the Dolphins are a very good team. You very well could lose this week. So, if that happens, you're still going to have a chance to get that one seed that we follow. Hosting a wild card game, about a 23% chance of that happening. We like to see that number low. We don't want to deal with the wild card. And being a wild card team, somehow the Browns winning the division, very slim chance that Joe Flacco takes away the division title from the Ravens, about 3% to be exact. Not impossible, but still uh, possible out there of some sort. So what do you guys think? Is it all going to wrap up? Are the Ravens going to get the number one seed? It's our pin comment today. Why for yes, in for no. Weigh in that comment section. Tell me if you think the Ravens get that one seed or not. Today's show is sponsored by Price Picks. Price Picks is the place to go for daily fantasy made easy. Pick two or more players in any given category. Get the choice of more or less, whether you're talking receiving yards, passing yards, fantasy points, all sorts of different stuff you can choose from on Price Picks. Uh, Pricepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS for a $100 deposit match. And I got to brag for a moment, folks. Price picks last night, we hit. I told you it was going to work. All three. We turned $20 into $70 last night on prize picks. Thanks to Gus Edwards, Isaiah Likely, and Justin Tucker. You can play along with us, too, at pricepicks.com. Get that $100 deposit match to play along today. Prize picks, proud partner of Ravens Rundown and Chat Sports. Glad to have them on board. So if the playoffs were to begin today, here is what they would look like. The Ravens would have the first round by. They would get a week off. Then the Colts would take on the Dolphins. The Bills would take on the Chiefs. 
and then the Browns would take on the Jags. Uh, you look at these matchups, essentially what would happen is the Ravens would get the lowest remaining seed available in the divisional round. So it would either be the Colts, Bills, Browns, or Jags. One of those teams is who they would face at that point. They would wait out their opponent and see who it is. And think about this. We mentioned that the Jets, if they beat the Browns, uh, that the Ravens win the division. That game's going on on Thursday. So we are going to know before Sunday whether the Ravens have the division locked up or not. You could be in a situation where the Jets upset the Browns on Thursday night and then all you're playing for is home field advantage on Sunday. Or you could be in a situation where you're playing for both. But the Jets could help us out and make things a lot easier, potentially speaking, where uh, that's the only team we really care about or, or rooting against, essentially, this weekend would be Cleveland. This week's matchup against the Miami Dolphins. This is going to be a fun game between these two teams. Dolphins, remember, got the best of the Ravens last season in Baltimore. High-powered offense. Tyreek Hill is having his historic season. Tua's looked good. That offense has been cooking. But the thing I look at when you talk about the Miami Dolphins is they do not beat good teams. They beat the Dallas Cowboys this past week, but that's probably their best win of the season. They have struggled all season long against teams over 500, and right now the Ravens are playing as hot as anybody in the National Football League going into this game. Then you take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Let's say for all intents and purposes here that you need to win this game. Let's say you lose to Miami here. You lost the Steelers earlier in the season. The Steelers have been a roller coaster, in particular the quarterback position, but the fighting Mike Tomlins have found ways to stay alive. That defense is still really good. I know that offense has got some issues, but if they can put up points, watch out. The Steelers are tougher to beat than maybe the record would indicate at 8-7. and seven. What are the chances the Ravens went out these next two games and end the 2023 regular season on a six-game winning streak? What do you guys think? Weigh in the comments section. Let me know your chances of the Ravens winning out. I think they're pretty good. I'd give it about an 8 or 9 would be the number I'd give. What's the number you give? Chances the Ravens went out, let us know. Folks, no better way to celebrate that Ravens win last night than subbing for Ravens dubs. Look, we're ramping up coverage quite a bit here on Ravens Rundown. Not only just the daily news and rumors, but we're going to be doing watch parties for every playoff game for your Baltimore Ravens throughout the postseason. Uh, we do our live shows, Q&A mailbags, all that stuff. Sub for dubs. Hit that sub button. Doesn't cost you a thing. Absolutely 100% free. For the best Ravens coverage on YouTube, we got you covered. Subscribe now. Before we get out of here, let's uh, go over five things you need to know about your Baltimore Ravens in this final stretch, they are partaking in the fourth toughest schedule remaining of any NFL team left at this point. Strength of record is about 63% uh, between those two teams with Miami and Pittsburgh. And both teams have something to play for. Miami and Pittsburgh are both teams trying to get in the postseason, both playoff contending teams uh, at this point with a lot to play for. So in theory, you're going to get the best uh, that you possibly can out of Miami and Pittsburgh these two weeks. According to ESPN's Football Power Index, the Ravens have about a 55.6% chance of beating Miami. Their chances of beating Pittsburgh much higher, about 79.1 for those two games. So despite the tough record, FPI feels pretty confident about the Ravens' chances in those games. We mentioned the Week 5 contest where the Steelers get the best of the Ravens. That was a 17-10 to loss on the road where the Ravens led for about three and a half quarters and blew it away late in that game. And the five-game winning streak, things are going very well for this Ravens team right now, the way they're playing. Now it's about finishing and seeing what they can do down the stretch. I told you last night on our watch party, and I'll continue to reiterate, the Ravens right now are the team to beat. This is a Super Bowl or bust year for this Baltimore Ravens team. They look as good as anybody in football. Lamar looks like the MVP. The Ravens are red hot right now. This is their to, theirs to lose. They're going to get everybody's best from here on out. Watch out. Let's see what the Ravens can put together from here. Folks, thanks for joining us here on Ravens Rundown today. Spam W in the comments section for that Ravens win. Give them that W. We'll see you next time here on the channel.